hello hello friends welcome back to my channel i'm very happy that you are here with me today we are like resetting my home basically i'm trying to get it back on track and headed in the right direction especially there's something about heading into summer where i feel like I want to establish some routines now to where when we are all six home during the summer, I mean, Mark will be working too, but we are on the same page and we don't feel overwhelmed and step on each other's toes. So I want to set a good example for my kids and get my routines established. And then I would love to do some better routines with them as well. Touch of who I am when you're far away. And I feel like I'm running in circles around you. Mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while. But I want you close. I talked in my last video about how comfortable our mattress is and our pillows too. And then on top of that, it kind of stinks because it's very warm here now. I mean, it's in the eighties and nineties pretty much every day and it'll get a little bit warmer than that. But I love at night to sleep with like a heavy blanket and our duvet cover is so comfortable, but, and the duvet inside it too but it just does not make sense to sleep with that in the summertime. So I'm probably gonna be taking that off the bed and then we'll just sleep with a quilt. But I just love to have weight on me when I'm sleeping. Do y'all feel that way too? This is the result of dumping everything on the counter when you get home from Vegas. It is a mess in here and I need to unpack. I did just want to take a second and thank Scentbird for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you haven't heard of them, Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service and they send you new fragrances every single month that you can pick from. They have over 600 to choose from. This month I picked four, but they are the cutest little bottles. It's perfect for people like me who travel a lot and you can take them with you. And it's also perfect when you don't quite know what scent you want and you just maybe want to try it out for a little bit. They look like this, but you can twist them up and spray from there and then you can also pull them out to see how much is left and see what your fragrance is but I want to tell you all a little bit about mine so this one is the Versace bright crystal some of the main fragrances I smell in this one are like peony and pomegranate it's just a really fresh smell and then there's also Viva La Juicy the Juicy Couture is my absolute favorite I love this smell so much it just reminds me of basically ever since I've been wearing perfume it smells so good it's like berries and vanilla and caramel Caramel. It's amazing. I also have the Calvin Klein Euphoria, which is just like a really classic smell. I feel like it's very florally. It smells like orchid and pomegranate. And then this one I've never tried before, but it is Floreal Vince Camuto. And it kind of smells like flowers and vanilla and all of these are just such fresh scents. I also just really love how compact these are and they come with these little sleeves that you can slide the perfume down into. You can even give them as a gift which would be amazing but I just pack them with me when I'm traveling and on the go. And if you don't really know where to start they have a quiz on their website where you can kind of go through and answer some questions and then it will better match you up with since that would be good for you. So make sure to click the link below in my description box and use my code JT55 
for 55% off your first month at Scentbird, and that makes your first month only $7, which is great. And they also do ship to Canada now. We definitely are not the kind of people to have our bathroom counters cleared off at all times. Typically, they're pretty cluttered just because we all get ready in here. I fix the kids' hair in here, and I do all the stuff I need to do in here, so it never really stays that clean. So it is a good feeling when I can take everything off and wipe everything down and enjoy the peacefulness at least for a little bit and you know what mark notices too because he got home from work and he was like man it feels really good to have cleared off bathroom counters because it just doesn't happen that much you feel so far away though you're close Where's your mind that I wanna know? A penny for your thoughts. I wanna know what's inside that heart of yours. Ooh, I feel paper thin. I normally try to clean from the top down and I start with the mirrors, but for some reason I glanced at them and I thought they weren't that bad. And then after I got the rest of the counters cleaned up, I realized that the mirrors were a little bit worse than I thought they were. So I'm just wiping those off and then kind of re-wiping the counter a little bit too. And these were basically all the clothes that I pulled out of our suitcase from Vegas that we did not wear. So I tried to keep them separate because they were clean and all the dirty clothes I put into like a garbage bag and put back in the suitcase. So I'm getting these hung back up and folded up and put in the drawers. There were a lot of them, which is a good feeling because they're already clean, but I just felt really behind when I had this huge mountain of clothes to put away. Y'all, that is the story of my life. I feel like I'm constantly picking stuff up off the floor. I think that is so much of what motherhood is, picking up after yourself, picking up after your kids, and then I just feel like stuff falls on the floor so much when I'm around. I drop stuff, I trip over stuff, piles of laundry fall off the dryer. I don't know, anybody else? Didn't I wait for you? Didn't I say I'm sorry? Didn't I do the best I could? You have high expectations. Don't I know that you've explained it? How I should prove myself to you But I can't when I'm with you I need to love again But I can't when I'm with you I need to find my way by myself
also such an overpacker and I just don't think I'm ever going to change because I always like to be super prepared. And the one time I still remember we went to the beach and I was like, I'm not going to overpack this time. I'm not going to pack sweaters because you don't need that. And I remember I did get sunburned a little bit and I was freezing cold when we went out to dinner. And I remember thinking if I just packed like I normally do, I would have a sweater right now. So I just overpack for everything. It's fine. Literally, I put my suitcase up on the scale when I was flying out to Vegas and it was 50 pounds exactly. So I barely made it with all that, but that's okay. The day after we got home, Ava was singing with her chorus and she, they sang the national anthem at the Braves game. That was exciting too. I just saw the Braves shirt that I was washing. So that reminded me of that. But even though people sing every single day with the Braves game and the national anthem, it was a big deal for Ava. And she was so excited, a little bit nervous, even though it was a group of people, but they did a really good job. And it was fun to do that together as a family. Oh, I know that you've explained it How I should prove myself to you Because I love doing this so much in one of my last videos and quizzing y'all about doors, what is the door that's straight back? The one that is closed. Okay, it's finally time to bust out my steam mop. I read conflicting things online about using this on LVP, and but I also read things about just using a regular mop too. So I just went ahead and did it. I mean, YOLO. I mean, I'm kind of kidding because these floors were not the cheapest, but it ended up fine. And I will say I did not really pass over it for long periods of time. I went pretty quickly and it definitely made the floors clean. It got up a ton. And the main reason why I did not use my O Cedar spin mop that I love is because I forgot that I used it not that long ago. And really quickly after I used it, I threw it in the garage because I think we had people coming over and I didn't clean it. And the bucket is really gross and the mop head is really gross. So I need to clean that. So that's why I'm using this. And now I'm jumping upstairs for a second. I wanted to trade over the kids laundry. And if you're newer to my channel, I know this confuses some people. We do have two laundry rooms. Mark and I have one like right off our bathroom downstairs in our room. And then the kids have one upstairs in the landing area. It does make things super convenient as far as like their laundry goes right in here and ours stays downstairs but it doesn't necessarily mean that I get more laundry done because it's still just me over here doing it. But I do like it and it kind of just came with our floor plan. So we didn't really choose this. We could have opted to have this room be something else, but with six people in our family, it kind of made sense to have two laundry rooms. But anyways, I'm up here trying to get the kids laundry going. I mean, I kind of had it going, but I wanted to keep it going. And I told y'all in the last video how my friends were so sweet with my kids laundry when they brought them back to us after we got back from Vegas, they have washed all of their clothes, which was just so beyond pressure but I had a ton of clean clothes that I needed to put away and also I had clean clothes sitting here from before we left Be 
this last week of school, my kids have theme days while well, most of them do. So they're supposed to be doing something different basically every day. And then they also have their class parties that I'm supposed to be going to. Well, I want to go to, but it's a lot to keep up with. I am so appreciative to the school for making sure that they do them at different times just because I don't want to miss any of them. So they're all on different days and that's what I will be doing this next week, which will be fun. And then it's summertime, which is so great. Like I'm truly, truly so excited. But if I do come up with a chore chart, like I was talking about, I will share it with y'all if y'all want to get any ideas. And of course y'all can share with me any ideas that you have for what you put on your kids chore charts or just what you would like them to do. Like I was thinking of something small the other day that is so helpful to me. When I ask the kids to go into their closets and grab hangers for the laundry room, I cannot tell you how much that helps me out. And I was telling Mark how silly it is that I even go in there and collect hangers when the kids could easily do it. And they also like it. It's fun for them. So little stuff like that and probably even matching up socks like I'm doing here. That's something the kids could definitely do. So I'm going to be adding to their tour chart for the next week or so. And then hopefully we can have it for most of summertime. Sometimes I wonder why we even have pillows on the couch because they just get thrown around all the time. But I need so desperately for some of y'all to come into my living room and tell me how to place my furniture. I, I know I've kind of posed this question before in past videos, but I want more seating in here. I would love to have another couch. I'm thinking maybe a couch against the window over there but then I didn't know if that would close off and make the sectional look weird. Maybe just another chair, but I want more than just seating for one more person. I'm so thrown off by the whole thing. Our living room is a little bit of a weird shape, I guess, since the fireplace is diagonal. I don't know, I just need some help. Some of y'all who are professionals out there, I need y'all to help me out. That is just not my area of expertise and I know so many people out there are talented with like furniture placement, but I'm not one of those people. My kitchen had a bunch of stuff going on in here. I had to run to the grocery store and get stuff for Bo's soccer party. I also grabbed a bunch of stuff. Well, Mark did too for a bachelor party he's going to this weekend because he is a best man in his cousin's wedding. So we had all that stuff. And then I also just wanted to do like the midday pickup in the kitchen because it's always out of control. Even if it's just me here, honestly, I'm pretty messy too. So I wanted to get rid of some school papers too. Sometimes I have to do that or I want to do that during the day. Just it's a little bit easier. It felt really good to tidy up in the middle of the day. I don't do it that often. A lot of times I keep all the work for like nighttime. But when I was looking around after I finished doing this, especially when I steam mopped the floors, I was like, wow, this feels really good. I should do this more often. at my mother's day flowers just still hanging on they actually look really pretty i've replaced the water a couple times and they're just thriving i got that and then when i got home from hanging out with my sisters and my mom 
we went out for Mother's Day, just the four of us, and we went and had like a blowout on our hair, which I've never really done that specifically before. And then we went and ate together, which was nice. We kind of talk about on Mother's Day how when we host stuff, we end up being the people who are running around like crazy. So we said for Mother's Day, we should just go out, which is what we did. And that was nice. But then when I got home, Mark and the kids had like flowers and chocolates and they got me a new pair of tennis shoes, which I have needed so badly. And they're really, really cute. I love them so much. And it was just like such a thoughtful gift. And the fact that while I was gone, he took all the kids out to go grab that honestly meant more than anything. So it was just a really good Mother's Day. We had a fun day together and Actually, the next day is when he flew out to Vegas like a couple weeks ago, but we had a good day before Mother's Day together. It was really nice. What are some of y'all's summer plans this year? Are y'all traveling? Are you staying home? Are you trying to knock off some things off your bucket list? I know that we'll be traveling at least to the beach a couple of times, which I know I've mentioned before. And I think we're going to stay at our condo at least a couple of times. But I guess this isn't technically summer, but Mark and I just did book a trip to Mexico in November. It was for our friend who's turning 40, but there's a huge group of us going. I'm so excited about that because we're staying at like an all-inclusive resort, which is something Mark and I have never done. We've traveled a good bit, but we always just kind of find whatever deals we can, or we've gone on cruises. So an all-inclusive is new for us and we are stoked, but we mostly just find ourselves going to the beach. I want to have like a more official bucket list for myself though and I'd love to start crossing things off. I know I mentioned to y'all how my kids would love to fly because they've never flown before so maybe we can find a trip sometime this summer for like a weekend getaway for them to fly for the first time. And that is definitely me trying to stomp a Cheerio to mush it up so it's easier to vacuum. <laughs> Does anybody do that? This vacuum cleaner is amazing, but it struggles to pick up like weird things, Cheerios. And so I stomp on them sometimes. It's fine. It works and it's what I've done forever. But I also wanted to steam mop in here. Who remembers the time that I was steam mopping? I want to say this was like over a year ago that I did it underneath here and I didn't even have the steam mop plugged in. And I realized basically after I was done I was like I didn't think that was working that well and I didn't have it plugged in at all so that was great um but anyways this steam mop does work pretty well for what it is it's pretty affordable I will link it but I lost the little piece to it that holds the water in like tightly so it leaks water and I either need to get a new one of these or I want to try out a different one just because it does slosh the water around but that was user error that was completely my fault it works well for what it is but I've always wanted to try out some other ones too. Just FYI, the craft table, the blue one that is next to our table right here, it's just always going to be a mess. I think I cannot have something that has all those open shelves. I really want to find something that closes, which I think I've said that before. So I'm going to work towards finding something because it's impossible to keep it organized. So if you ever see it, just, just ignore it. Everybody's smoking. Boy, it's getting late, but we keep talking. I 
can't help but feel like I've been chosen. I'm the one inside your mind. You go on about your job. Tell me things like I can't hate to act in dogs. I go on about my ex who broke my heart. Baby, with you ever Okay, and the last thing I want to tackle today is one of the most important things in our house, or I guess technically it's in the garage, but our drink fridge. I don't know what I would do without this thing, and I don't know how we went so long without one, but I wanted to wipe it down. It's been a little while since I wiped it down and stock it up, and I know some of you who know me well will be like, what in the world? You have so many different kinds of drinks. I thought you were a Dr. Pepper girl. I am very much a Dr. Pepper girl, but I'm also not that picky, so I will drink pretty much anything as long as it's not diet. It. I love Dr. Pepper first above anything else, but I love Mr. Pibb. I also love Coke. I love Cherry Coke. I'll even drink Pepsi. I'm just not that picky. There was so much going on while I was filming this and it's funny because you can watch it and you would never have any idea but the kids were getting home from school. I was about to go pick up two of their friends. The other two were asking for play dates with people who weren't available. So then they were asking for other play dates with different people and I was like okay well let's figure that out and I was trying to get everything done Then they wanted snacks then they needed help with homework and it was just nuts and I was like all right y'all let me finish this real quick and like stocking up the drink fridge is any type of priority at all but I knew if I didn't finish it then I would never come back to it so I figured I would do that I hope you guys enjoyed being here today and that it brought you some motivation. I'm excited about my next video. I'm tackling some outside spaces as well as my mudroom that really needed some attention. I'm trying to get a little bit ahead on filming or more just like caught up so I can really be pushing out some videos for y'all and I just appreciate y'all being here. I love y'all so much and I hope you have a wonderful week. Oh,